today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another beautiful day full of tea. Girl, there is so many things happening. I'm back in LA after a short, short, very short vacation in San Francisco. Uh, I'm, I'm back here in LA. It was like a five hour drive, but you know what? It is back to normal finally, okay? Whew, girl, it is time to talk about the Real Housewife of New Jersey slash Real Housewife of Orange County because these girls are literally going after each other constantly, you know? Um, right now we have Tamara Judge versus Jennifer Aiding, Margaret Joseph versus Heather Dubrow. Like, what is going on here? Like, in what point are we now creating feuds, you know, between the different... Um, franchises but i mean i'm a surprise i don't know i don't know girl we definitely need to talk about it so let's talk about this oh mess uh margaret joseph was at uh tamara judge podcast to tc in a pod well and Teddy Mellon comes but uh, it was just with tamara and they were basically talking about everything they spill so much tea i mean it is very surreal i mean it's very clear, I'm sorry, that's the word. It's very clear that Margaret, of course, she still hates Jennifer. She doesn't really want to have a real relationship with Teresa Judice. I mean, she's still putting like a lot of things out there that sometimes they don't even make sense, okay? Now, let's go about the tea a little bit because the first part that I, I was surprised is uh, Margaret Joseph actually saying that she, that she had a little feud with none other than Heather Dubrow from the Real House of Orange County because Margaret told, was telling everyone that Orange County was done, that it was boring, that they needed Tamara to be back, that all of these things. And apparently at some point, Heather Dubrow, like she was like, no bitch, like shut the F up. So this is what, Mar what Margaret has to say. It says, I got yelled at uh, by Heather Dubrow. Heather was mad because I said the show was boring until Tamara got back. Tamara then brought up Margaret's previous comments about the Real Housewife of Orange County is one of the worst franchises. In response, Margaret retaliated, I'm sorry, reiterated that her comment was made before Tamara got back. The Jersey Star doubled down on her claim, saying that the OC viewers needed a little more excitement. After the interview was released, Tamara posted a clip of Margaret Wartz on Instagram, and Margaret then responded in the comments, I'm always in trouble for telling the truth. So it's not like she doesn't even, she's not even really um, saying that she's wrong. No, she's saying, I am right. The thing is, like, I'm always, like, getting in trouble, girl. Um, let me see, what else do we have over here? In the same interview, uh, Margaret also addressed her beef with Teresa because, okay, apparently Margaret said that she decided to just stay on Teresa's uh, wedding just for a little bit and then she ended up leaving the wedding in support, like as a, as a protest because Melissa wasn't part of the wedding, you know? And it was like, then why was she there in the first place? Teresa, you know, she said her the other day, she was like, she's not a real friend. She was just there to get a photo op, you know, to be like, oh, picture, I was at Teresa's wedding because everyone else was at Teresa's wedding, you know, but it was not because she was a real friend. And she's saying like, she felt uncomfortable. Uh, she says, oh, I gave her a generous gift. She cashed my check very quickly. Bitch, I will have done the same. Just because you are a bad friend doesn't mean that I'm not going to take your money, okay? I get an alert as soon as my checks are cashed, anything over a certain amount of money. So she felt very comfortable taking my gift, and she knew that I was very supportive of her marriage. Where are you, though? I stay well through the cocktail hour. I was trying to wait for her to come down to her party. She was doing costume changes. I was waiting, waiting, waiting. 
costume changes. She's so shady. She is like so shady. Margaret didn't feel comfortable dancing the whole night away because there was a bitter sweetness with Melissa and her husband, Joe Gorga, and that's why she decided to leave. I call it BS. I mean, she's basically using it because it's a great excuse, but we, I mean, she doesn't care about Teresa. She doesn't care about her. I mean, she wants Teresa gone. So, I mean, instead of doing all of these, instead of being so fake, just like be real and just say like, you know what? I don't want to be here anymore. Like I, I wouldn't have even gone in the first place. But she knew, she knew what she was doing because her position was shaking after last season because everyone was against Margaret for the things that she did to Jennifer Aiding. So, girl. Now, talking about Jennifer Aiding, apparently Miss Tamara Judge is not a fan of Jennifer Aiding. And she's literally saying that Jennifer, um, what was the word? Like, she annoys the F out of me. I think those are the exact words. Uh, she says that Tamara Judge share in that she's not a fan of Jennifer Aiding. Uh, she says during the same episode, oh, two, two, two. they just put so many things. Says I gotta tell you, Jennifer Aiding box the S out of me. Box the S, say Judge. Margaret Joseph chime in that something about Jennifer gets under her skin. Judge also. Uh, share that she believes Bill is annoyed by his wife. Margaret Joseph agreed with her assessment and stated that she thinks the doctor is a saint. While speaking to Margaret Joseph, Tamara Josh shared she is bothered by how Jennifer sounds and asked if she was a TV voice. She has a TV voice when she yells in arguments. Margaret Joseph stated she was not sure whether that was her genuine voice. Girl, I mean, Tamara, I love you, but you are so in the wrong when it comes to these two, okay? You can, you should not be on Margaret's uh, side on this one because Margaret is so wrong. She's manipulating everyone. We all see it. And it's not even good TV because she's literally becoming the Lisa Rena of the Real House of New Jersey. Like, people are not really happy with her behavior uh, lately. So, I don't know. And Jennifer, I mean why i mean it is okay that she annoys you because you don't have to be bff with everyone and that's fine but why using these words constantly and attack someone that is literally not attacking you so i don't know anyways that's what is happening between new jersey and orange county found it very interesting that a lot of people are apparently going after each other so let me know what you guys think on the comments below and if you want to get all the tea related to real houses of new jersey orange county or any other franchise or bravo show or pop culture make sure to subscribe 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 and hit the notification bell and i'll see you around see ya bye Hello everyone and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever.